Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon and oh boy the previous episode my god the thing from the stars almost destroyed us first time fighting it hadn't even seen it before and according to some of you guys if I hadn't had armor piercing by complete luck I probably would have at least lost someone in that battle. So I'm super glad we got away with it. We ended up getting the sharp key, I think it was called. Something along that lines, the trinket uh, bought with the crystals for Leo. So we're going to hopefully try that out today. And this apparently makes him into one of the best stunners in the entire game. So I'm super looking forward to that. So let's get right into it. Here we are in the cursed estate. We don't have anyone new to introduce today, but we do have some diary entries to go through. One of them is from our expedition into the farmstead. And this is by... Sell for Dismas. Before going to the farm, said he said, I'm in an expedition to visit the crash site of a peculiar comet. Unfortunately, Ryan will be there too. And then during the farm, said these creatures, they aren't from this planet, are they? And then after the farm, said he said, I've seen the power of the stars within my own eyes. Perhaps my old man's research wasn't for naught. My God. I love that. I love the Cell is such a good writer, and I absolutely love any, everything she writes. It's always so, so good. But yeah, let's have a little look. We, we already have bought all the trinkets we want to buy, so we don't really have anything to go on there. Um, we could probably do to increase the number of trinkets here, you know. It's 58 of these. It's it's questionable whether that's worth it or not. Because um, we kind of want to be saving our money for other stuff. But we have a lot of things to to sort of achieve. We we really need to start getting onto the next lot of bosses, really. Um, we, we are very close to being able to do that. But at the moment, we still have quite a lot of people that are level 2 and, and need to be sort of brought up to speed. And I think that's something that's going to be have, have to be something we focus on. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Antiquarian plus 25 percent Interesting. That could be quite useful. Uh, we have a few level uh, 1 missions here. And then we have this veteran level 3. I'm, I'm very worried for the next set of bosses, I have to say. Uh, I have a feeling that we're going to... We're gonna get kind of pummeled a little bit going into that. Oh, we can get some uh, some damaging Lamia stuff as there, which is interesting. And Dark Wraith. Ooh. Interesting. Get some, st some synergy with Firebomb there. Uh, I'm not really sure what one we want to go for here. Um, maybe we'll just slip into a, a short adventure really quick into the um, into the Warrens. Just because Warrens is getting lower level than everything else. Wield is also pretty low level, but I don't really want to do a level 1 mission. Although this is activate the three infested corpses. Um, we kind of do need to do that. So yeah, let's actually go on this level 1 mission here. Uh, we definitely want to bring Leo along with us. Where are you, Leo? I know you haven't been out in a little while here, so we'll... Uh, We'll bring you along for the ride. I'm pretty sure Leo is level... I thought I thought he was level 2. Maybe he's level 3. No, he's level, he's level 2. I just had... I just... I must have skipped by him by accident. Where are you, Leo? There he is. Okay, Leo's currently... I forgot that we're not going to be able to use him yet because at the minute we're getting rid of... Um, complacent really quickly uh I, f I forgot that we're doing that so we won't take him on the first mission but the second one along we'll definitely take him so for now let's go with um a few different people here i think we can take yatsu again yatsu was really good last time um we had a good time with her as long as we get a bunch of stress reduction uh sophia we haven't really messed with her too much but i really want to get good with her and take her along for the ride i think she could be very very valuable um, we'll take Chasey along with us at the front line as well. And then who should we take as our healer? Let's have a little look here. Do we have any level 2 healers left? We do. Uh, Artemis is level 2. Let's take Artemis with us. She can do that stress reduction. It's going to synergize well. And I think this is probably a pretty good build. Uh, I'm going to have these two up front doing damage. Um, doing what they must. Although... Uh, Chasey does perform better in the back line than the front. So let's let's maybe switch these around a little bit here. Um, let's switch these two around maybe. Like, let's let's do this, right. So from the front line, you can do Weed Out, um, Bramble Trespass, Crimson Dance. Crimson Dance is going to be one that we can't do as much here. Let's have a look. What, what do we want to do here? So we've got this stress reduction here, which is rather nice. Um, this is really good. We can uh, activate a free action. Well, this is as a free action. Helps enemies that are below a certain health threshold. Uh, borrowed time here um, is going to add a block, which is really nice. Cure Blight and Bleed. Plus 21's dodge at Death's Door as well. And then we've got Desecrate. Let's have a little look. Is there anything else we might want to go with here? So 
Um, this one here is going to be adding... It's going to suffer... All here is going to suffer damage. And it's going to increase its damage over time. It's kind of a mod damaging thing. Buffer target with extra, extra accuracy and crit. Prevent healing. Damage received. Ooh, that's... I don't know if I can... If I could go with that. Um... Clear corpses, blight, and stun. Yeah, we'll probably go with this. Uh, I think this is only yeah can only hit corpses, so we have to um, we have to kind of worry about that some. But I think this is pretty good as far as builds go here, and we could maybe we could maybe switch this out for condemn. Condemn with a pull and... Yeah, let's go with that. Condemn with a pull and minus to speed could be pretty darn good. So we'll take that. Uh, but kind of the play that I'm thinking here is we take Chasey, we bring her into... Um, we bring it into her other mode and switch and start using the Scythe and Harvest, which is going to be dealing a lot of damage to everyone else. But we get such good buffs from keeping people at uh, low health. Actually, do you know what? I was going to bring our Lamia here, but in fact, I'm going to bring Maggie instead because Maggie's going to be really good at keeping everyone topped up and keeping everyone, like, decent because you can do AoE uh, restoration. So I think she's going to be the better one to go for here, uh, actually. So let's start trinketing everyone up. So we know for a fact that even though you're going to be a, a, a fairly decent damage dealer, we're just going to reduce your stress as much as possible. So we go with, with the double stress reduction there. Um, I think that does us best. Then here, actually, I don't know what's best on you, so we'll, we'll wait to do, to do you. You're going to be a, a pretty good damage dealer. Um... We do have some interesting class-specific trinkets there, but I'm I'm actually going to opt for just going straight up damage on you. Um, because I believe, if I have a look, one of your skills... Yeah, this one. Forward three. Um, steal one HP, gain one HP, 1% 1 damage per ally. I mean, we could, in theory... We could go with... Uh, what's our crit? It's 7%. Our crit's already pretty high. We could go with a bonus damage. The 25% damage while up the front is kind of good. But I don't know if that's specifically what we need here. Um, what can we do for some crazy damage here? Let's have a look. Let's uh, sort by rarity, shall we? We'll have a little look. So... We could go with the extra accuracy and speed, but I don't think that's what we need particularly... Um, hmm. Having, having our apostate have really high speed after the first round seems pretty good. So maybe we'll, we'll link her up with that there and that'll do us a good job. Um, okay. We'll go with the mark because mark synergizes nicely here. Um, we can go with this, I think. I think that's fine. Then, let's have a look. What else do we put with that? I think we go with the restoration. Um, extra um, amount, but less duration. I think that's fine. I kind of like that. Then here, like I said, we're trying to go for damage here. So where is our focus ring? Yeah, let's go with the focus ring. She already has high dodge, so I don't really care about removing some of that dodge. And then what else can we put on her for damage? What what do we normally go with here? Um, we've got the boots here, which does lower speed as well as dodge. But I think this is going to be preferable for that 15% crit. Going to lower her dodge a lot, but I, I think that's sustainable. I think that's sustainable. Then here, what else do we want on you? We could just go with a straight up scouting chance because we're going to be having a lot of speed anyway, so reducing the speed isn't that big of a deal. Do you know what? I'm going to take I'm going to take this off and replace it with a 15%. It's 5% less. I really don't think it makes that much of a difference. Um, what are we going to put on you? You've got 34 maximum HP here, so we don't really need anything to do with maximum HP or anything like that. Our protection, really. We could... <sighs> Let's just give you an ability to heal yourself, shall we? Take on that. I think that'll do. Um, ooh, actually. It's really risky, but we could go with a full-on Death's Door play here. What's your, what's your Death's Blow resist? It's only 57. 
Death blow resist, yeah. We got this trinket is lowering it, so. Because we haven't really done anything with it yet, but we have some really interesting death blow builds going on here. Plus 30 resistance to the death, death star, plus 20 prot at death star, plus 20 death star, uh, death blow resist, plus 20 stress if not at death star. Extra death blow resist, 40% damage, extra crit, on attack, hit self, no healing received if not at death star. But, she's not really a damage dealer, so I don't know if that's what we want. I, I'm, I don't know, I'm so, I'm so tempted to build around it though. I'm so tempted to build around it, because it'd be quite fun. Maybe, maybe we'll switch out the sisters for a more damage-focused class. Let's have a little look, see what we can do here, because there's some interesting things we can build around that I don't think we've really touched. Because, for example, Willow, kind of, he, he works well at Death's Door. I think it's Willow, isn't it? Yeah, um... So, valid above 50% HP. Always crits at death's door. Yeah, let's try this out, shall we? So, we'll get rid of the lifesteal. We'll keep that on. Let's just quickly change up his skills a little bit. Where are you, Willow? I've lost you. I've lost you, Willow. Where are you going? There you are. Okay, let's give him this skill here. Then hop back in. You can go out. Willow, you can come in. We'll put that on. So now we have armor piercing, free action. We suffer 5 HP damage. Always crits at death's door. Then on you, we give you... Let's just sort these by rarity again, just so we have them back at the top. We get that on there. And we get that on there. So, basically... I mean, his death blow resist should be insane. 87% death blow resist. That's pretty, pretty damn crazy. Uh, he's gonna get be getting crazy resistances, extra prot, uh, extra death blow resist. Isn't the one that gives like crazy dodge at, at death star, or am I missing something? We could gain some extra death blow resist there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um. Okay, let's just let's just try and think about how this works. How this because we we've got to be very careful when doing this. So basically, the the idea here is that you come in. Do we do we even want that on her? Yeah, we'll we'll keep it on her. So you come in. You, you start off with this. Maybe we do want the life steal to play with maximum HP. Yeah, let's put that on just in case. Um, we, we, we put this on. Uh, and this is... We, we, we use this first, which lowers our health a lot. It summons a wall, which is a mobile guards party and 5 HP blocks 1 damage as pre as pro While channeling minus 40% speed and damage and plus 6 stress per round. Interesting with the stress there. Uh, but then this here is going to add damage, crit, and give suffer some HP. And then this here, we can... There's the dodge. Buff the dodge and add a block. Let's try this out, shall we? It's a weird one, I realise. And I don't know how it's going to work with Maggie here. Because... I have a feeling that he won't be on Death's Door for long. Let's try it out. Whatever. Let's let's give it a go. We've got some more diary entries to go into here. These all these are all written by me, by the way, as well. Got one here for Alexander the Surgeon. The people here. They come from all walks of life, and some even from death. I wish to have some one-on-one -on -one time with a few of them. Especially that one man that seems to be a living suit of armor. He's very interested in his uh his um like how he's working, how he how he's even alive. It's pretty interested in that. So we've got 20 food, 20 torches. Take four shovels. Three of everything else. You know the setup. You know the setup. And we embark. I'm yeah, I'm a bit I'm I'm both worried and excited to see how this goes down. Because I have a feeling that maybe having Maggie is a bad idea here, because 
it means that we can't keep him on Detadar for too long. But hopefully that should mean that we um that should mean that we get some more benefits because we can bring him down to Desidor a little more rapidly. So I'm interested. And basically, because he won't be able to receive healing, so if you take a look here, um he cannot receive healing if not at Death's Door. So he's always going to be bringing himself down in terms of HP. So we've got to clear these infected hot, uh, corpses. But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm actually pretty pretty excited to try this. I mean, a trap on him isn't too bad. Um, in fact, I don't really care about you sustaining some health damage either. But this this could be a this could be a time where we lose Willow, admit, admittedly. Like it could go it could go south and we could lose Willow. But we've got to try some of these risky tactics and see see how they work. Nice dodge there, Willow. So, we're going to be primarily using this here. And keeping everyone, keeping everyone going. So, how does this work? Someone's a burn wall. Brings him down to health. And he's channeling that, so he'll gain stress. So, we start that up. I like this burn wall. This is interesting. Uh, right, so this is a free action. So we set this up. Then we add a block onto you. And we get another turn straight away. We can go with some stress reduction or we can do condemn. We'll condemn here. I'll pull you forward. Harvest. That does hit the burn wall as well, interestingly enough. Mark you. Okay. So I think we can deal with the stress. And there's the burn wall gone. So. Always crits at death's door. Armor piercing. Let's just finish you off with that. And that will give us some max HP. But doesn't heal us. Which is good. Um, I think we. We add the block to you still. So let's just see. Okay, that didn't that that missed. Oh, that's a bad crit. It's okay though. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's cook. Everyone else receives healing apart from you. Nice. Nice hit here. We're taking a lot of stress here, which isn't really what I wanted, but it's what we're getting apparently. We'll heal you up. Okay, that was interesting. I kind of liked that. I kind of liked that. Right, we can get rid of that because I'm never going to use that. Take that. Eat that. What'd you get from that? Extra virtue chance. Nice. Um, we got some of them. I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave that for now. I'm not too worried about collecting a bunch of money this quest. I'd be fine if we don't get any money this quest. Okay, we did get extra shovels here, so that's good. But so far, I think this build is pretty interesting. Uh, something I will do is just rearrange our party real quick here. I'm, I, I am I am genuinely worried about Willow. I know that I know that this could be dangerous. It could it could be it could be pretty scary having Willow in such a such a deathly position all the time. Uh, 90, 70, 100, There you go. Nice disarm there. That stress a bit. We've got a battle coming back through here. So I think we I think we always start off with this. I'm I'm playing this a bit weirdly, a bit differently than normal, and having her full on just use this all the time because it'll be lowering people's health, which is a good thing for us right now. So I do want to test some out. We do that, and it does increase his maximum HP without uh, without healing him, which is good, I think. Mark prayer, not a problem. So, Burn Wall isn't really a good skill for this guy after a certain time. Got a block to you this time. Then we get another turn again. So, she's always going to go last and then always going to go first. That's kind of interesting. I, I like that. Having back-to-back -back turns here is pretty cool. Um, isn't there one of her skills that gives her an extra... Gives the enemy or target an extra action? I, sh I thought there was, but... Maybe I'm wrong. 
Maybe she got changed. I swear she had a skill that gave an extra action, and she just... I don't, I don't see... Oh, there, there it is. Insight's the one that gives the extra action. So maybe we'll switch over to that after this battle. And then... Nice block there. Get you cooking. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. Oh, on attack, hit self one block at death's door. So when he hits someone, he gains a, he gains a block. Just really nice. Oh damn. Okay, we got one of these sort of battles. Get some stress reduction going here. Nice hit. Okay, he's about to hit death's door. But my god, does he crit. Does he crit like a truck? Holy heck. So I want to just test out here. So he's crits up to 22% chance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Keep adding blocks to you. Yeah, he, he hits hard. So this will bring him to death's door. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. I am wrong. Uh, right, one thing I want to do real quick. Let's actually swap over a skill here. I'm going to take off Condemn and put on Insight. It prevents healing and increases damage received, but it adds an extra action, which I think works really well with, with Willow here. So I don't mind having that on. So yeah, I think, I, think, I think that works really well with Willow, giving him an extra action. But this is a pretty cool little build here. It's a pretty cool little build. One thing I am worried about is Chasey is going to be dealing damage, like, whenever she attacks. If he's at death's door and doesn't have a block, that means that that can kill him, I think. And obviously that would be a real shame. I mean, Chasey would love it. She'd love to suck the life out of something until it's dead, but we don't really want to see that happen. So this will probably hit him death's door, or not. This will definitely hit him death's door. He's Death Star now. He gains a block immediately. He gains Repurst, which is interesting. I didn't realize that he had Repurst on Death Star. So now, instead of... Um, instead of putting her in her mode where she de starts dealing damage, we're just going to do this and start debuffing people. Block that. So... Hmm. So I'm a bit confused on this, actually. So... On attack hit, one block at death's door. Right, that makes sense. That makes sense. But... If we use this, it deals... It, it's, we suffer 5 HP damage. Do we get the block first? I fucking I'm just gonna try it. So, so it did, yeah, it blocked the damage. Good. We get another action as this guy. Hey, she's stealthed. <laughs> nice. I don't know the block to you, so he's got two blocks. So he did, he does take a heal there. But we can do this to lower him back down. Oh no, he blocks that damage. Still, this guy's a tank. We're not really worried about any of that. Okay, so we've got some we've got some troubles here. We have to be we have to be careful about how we play this. It, it might be a bad thing when he's already on Death Star having our apostate go so far back. Let's just let's just switch people around here. This is terrible. Having our, having our group surprised here is not good. Okay. That's that's so good. I love that. I don't, what's the point in having protection at Death Star? I don't really get that. 
I don't really understand that. Okay. Yeah. Get that on him. Get that on him. This gives him double action. It's for 12. <laughs> it's for 18. Oh, this is such a cool build. I love this. <laughs> just, he, everyone else is just like there. And he's like, nope, I'm just going to destroy all y'all. I know that I'm leaving a bunch of deeds here. I realize that, but I'm focused on keeping this guy going right now. It's my primary concern. Well, this is so cool. At death's door, he gets extra healing received, extra damage, extra pro, and extra speed, which is just crazy. This guy's awesome. This is like the coolest build I've ever done. I mean, I'm scared of shitless that I could just die, but <laughs> it's cool nonetheless. We still haven't found any of the things we need to destroy yet. Okay. A surprise. So we'll do this to start, because this will put us down to Death Star. Give us that repurse. Give us that block. I think that gives us another action as well. Whenever we hit Death's Door, it gives us another action. So... Yeah, I think we've kind of messed up bringing Chasey here. Chasey's good to get him to Death's Door, but after that, she's kind of useless. Because we don't want to accidentally kill him. Right, and we do borrowed time, and then we do insight straight away after. Oh my god. <laughs> we just go insight straight away after. Okay, we can't use insight again. I don't know why. Oh, uh, we can only use that in the back when we're at the back too. Good to know. Do some stress reduction here. <laughs> oh my god. This is... Willow. We have been missing out on your true power. My god, Willow. This is unprecedented. Let's just switch these two around. I want you, I want you there because then you can use that right off the bat. What we got here? Werewolf. Eh, that's not that great. Uh, Citrine, still we'll find a bunch of that. Like I said, I'm not really worried about that sort of stuff. I want to keep what's important to us right now. Why did I even do that? Oh, it was so dumb. So dumb. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Very clearly didn't mean to do that. I meant to use the uh, herbs on it and just didn't. We'll, uh, we'll get rid of that off of there. Uh, Okay, uh, busts. We'll take busts. Deeds, I'm still just going to throw away, whatever. I know that we need them, but I need my inventory space more. <laughs> Doing that sets everyone off. And then it just gives him so much damage, it's insane. No one's really dealing stress here, so we can't really disable stress skills. That Shriek was a bad idea, dude. Get a bit of restoration going. Slap one of them on everyone. Slap one of them on him. Get another one of them on him. <laughs> oh, and another one. <laughs> How many actions does this fucking guy have? <laughs> oh my god. 41 damage. Another one. <laughs> 23 damage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is beautiful. The best build I've ever done. 
Also, where's all the things we need to- there's one of them, finally. Okay. This surprise business isn't good for us. I'm not liking that. Get you up front. Just take the time to get you up front. I don't really care. Okay, finally we can do this. Disable your stress skills for a round. Okay, get that going. Get that going. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, get another one of them going. This speed thing is working out so well with her. Smack. Another one. Give me another go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice little rearrange for us there. Cheers. Smack that guy. Nope, I blocked it. Right, I'm going for this. I'm going for it. He's got health. We're good. Slice. Add a block onto him. Let's go. Smack that body. Go, Willow. Chasey's got you. Chassis's got you. Whatever name it is. <laughs> he called it Chasey. It's Chassis. We are taking a bit of stress here. No, thank you. Right, finally can clear up some damn inventory space. Right, let's just move these two about. Finally found one of them. God, your stress is getting high, Ch Chessie. Not worry about it too much. This is a quest location as well. Good, good. Nice. <laughs> I am just in awe. I'm in awe at how good this is. Like... Sophia and Willow are a match made in heaven. In radiance, may we find victory. Absolute. E. Quest complete. I'm going to continue adventuring, though. We've still got stuff to find. There's still possible things for us to get. Nice to Sam there. We can also camp at the end of this as well. Turn around a bit. Oh my god, it's just... I'm sure plenty of people knew about how good this build was. But holy hell. Holy hell. It's dangerous, but it's so fun. <laughs> it's so enjoyable to play. Like, Willow is teetering on the edge of death constantly, but... Death... He's making death his bitch. He's grabbing, he's grabbing death by the throat and saying, Harder, Daddy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the collector, though. Wasn't expecting this bad boy. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this bad boy. Give me that block. Strike here. Mark here. Um, do that. Right. I'm just going to straight up... I'm going to straight up give him another action right now. Because of this. Oh, I did it. He did it. He, he got the collector's call out there. This could be bad. Let's get another block on him just in case. Ow. Get you. Should do that on you. Headbutt, that could have hurt, but luckily we escaped it. Let's get this going. Collector's call again. Can you stop with that, sir, please? Have another action. I went for the Vestal. I shouldn't have gone for the Vestal. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, I feel like such a destructive force here. It's great. I'm, I can't really do much with um, Chassis here, but it's fine. Ow. Had a feeling that was going to hurt. Stop collectors calling. Oh, my God. Right, let's just get off that bleed. Yeah, get that blight on him. 
Hit you. This could still go bad. This could still go bad. 37 crit definitely helps. Oh, darkness. I need to use a torch really badly. Stop collectors calling, you fool. My god. Um, right. She's going for it. She's going for it. She's going for the kill. While he's marked. She can't even get the kill. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Don't do it. Don't buff him. Oh, she can't even heal herself. So annoying. Okay, we're in a bit of we're in a bit of trouble here. Honestly. Just give her another action, why don't you? The person that's... What are you doing? <laughs> the person that's most useless to have a second action. Yeah, give her another action, why don't you? This could go... Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to go so bad. This is going to go so bad. Why didn't we get... Oh, my God. Why can't you heal anyone anymore? What's going on? Right. Get another block going. Ah, oh, this, this went badly. That 20 crit helps. You better not survive on 2 HP, you my lord. No. You. Yeah, you. Yeah, you fucking. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> we haven't survived a single fucking death's blow hit yet. We've had three deaths. Not a single one of them has survived a death's blow hit. He had 87% chance to survive a death's blow hit. 87% chance. And he died on the first hit. Literally, it's your only job. I, I get, guys, guys. I get that that was a super avoidable death. I get that I should not have used Chasey to... Because I knew that would get rid of his block. I knew that that would happen. I knew it was a risk, but I was like, 87%, it's high enough, we'll be fine. No. No. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Willow, you served us well in that mission. Holy hell, you served us well. My god, you served us well. But for god's sake, could we please survive one, just one death blow hit, please? I can't, I, I, I just can't believe it. Willow, <laughs> why? Oh my god, Willow, why? Oh, right. We need to get rid of, um... We need to get rid of this off of Sophia. Oh my god. It just... It had to happen, didn't it? The game, it just couldn't... It couldn't leave us be. It couldn't let us be happy. No, that would be far too simple. That would be far too easy. Ah, oh, I knew it was a risk carrying on the quest. I knew it was a risk. But sometimes risks have to be taken. And sometimes it don't pan out as you want it to. I kinda like that, I'll take that. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Willow has unfortunately perished. It's just... It's, it's unfortunate. But... 
That's how it's got to be sometimes. I hope, I really hope that another Dark Wraith comes along soon because I thoroughly enjoyed playing as the Dark Wraith there. And I, I realized, as I said, it was a risky tactic keeping him on Death's Door. It ain't, it ain't easy. It, it ain't so guaranteed. But you'd think with an 87% chance he'd survive one Death's Blow resist. Just one. Like, one. One? Just one? But no. The first time he gets hit on Death's Door without a block. And he perishes immediately. People don't like staying alive around here. I don't know what it is, but people are super, super up for dying quickly. Chasey, she she got blood. She got what she wanted. She she was trying to drain the life out of them. It was a clear miscalculation and mistake. But I was worried that our apostate and Maggie, uh, Sophia and Maggie, I was worried. We had no healing. Then two were getting into a situation that was... It was frankly quite quite awful to see, and I, I was very very worried for them both. And I, I took I took a ballsy play. We were off by two damage, two, two damage. We could have if two more health. He, he had two more health. We could have killed him, but unfortunately it didn't happen. And Willow paid the price. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I know it's been quite a heart wrenching one, quite a difficult one. My God, it has, but. Sometimes it's just how it's got to be. We'll take a little quick look through these first and make sure there isn't anything crazy that we really want. Um. Oh, it's just, boy, it's it just rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> oh, it rubbed me the wrong way. It really does. But that's how it's got to be. Sometimes I hope you guys did enjoy. I think we have one more diary entry here. Actually, oh no, we have we have two. I think. Um, yeah, we have two. Uh, these are both ones that have written by me here. Diary entry for uh, an Anguis, the shield breaker. I thought it was over my fear. I thought this place would scare me more than snakes ever could. But every time I see that she-devil Verona and her pets, my skin crawls and the horrors of this estate fall on deaf ears. And we got another one here from Annie Avestal, and this one's again by me. Um, I've been out on it a few times now and I'm feeling like I'm really living up to Diane's teachings. It was only when I arrived that I learnt that dear Diane had passed in this very estate. I visit her grave every day and swear by the light that no one befall such a terrible fate as Diane under my watch. And of course, someone got collected anyways, but she wasn't there to see it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.